What's going on, my Libras? Sending you guys love, sending you light. Hope everyone is having a good evening. I'm gonna get into your energy. Okay, we have contract, promise, commitment. Okay, loan or fierce instincts. Okay, and grace, elegance, poise. Okay. So some of you could feel like there's something going on in your marriage. Okay, you could be married to a soulmate of some nature. You could feel like something is going on with your instincts is trying to uh, point you in the right direction. Um, if you're not married, you're in a commitment. You're com your, your instincts is trying to alert you to something that your partner may be doing behind your back. Um, Spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. They're going to receive karma for this, okay? Whatever it is that they're doing, which tells me that it's not something that's good, okay? Whatever that means to you. They told me to go one more down, right? What is that? Sly, cunning, strategy. So somebody's trying to be slick behind somebody back here, like I was saying, okay? Um, so, yeah, no, we're not doing that, okay? So let's see what's, what's going on here. What is this person doing, Spirit? What's going on? Give me what I need for my Libras. Okay, for so okay, there's another collective here before I turn this card over. Spirit is telling me that somebody wants to marry you, and you may know this. This person could be a karmic soulmate, somebody that, that left you some time ago. They're not they're not with you now. This person may want to return to you because they have now discovered that that person that they were with was not their soulmate, that you are, or that you're one of them, or that you're a good soulmate. Yeah, thank you, sir. That's what I'm getting. You're the good kind. The other one was not. Okay? So someone may want to come and, and uh, propose to someone here or give their commitment or offer commitment. That's what it is. Okay, and someone here has been by yourself for some time, but your instincts are so powerful, so fierce that you may be on guard and you like growling at this person like, motherfucker, I wish you would, whoever this is. You know what I mean? Like, I just wish you would. Okay. Um, yep. Nine of Swords energy. Okay. <laughs> Gemini. Right. This person is having fear, worry, anxiety because they don't know what's going to happen when they come to you because they're feeling a lot of guilt and regret. Um, they're focused on the past and what, what they put you through, okay? Some of the things that they put put some uh, people through here was, you know, body aches, headaches, you know, mental turmoil. You know, they, they put you through a whole stress load that caused someone to have, like, mental breakdowns, okay? Uh, this person may have done this. The Spirit is saying that their, their karma will be just that. Them getting this shit back. Somebody that uh, they're with doing everything that they did to you. Okay. So we have uh, two of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So you guys knew you were getting juggled and you said no motherfucking more. Okay. I ain't doing this. We're not. Okay. Right. This person is dealing with financial losses. Right. Um, all types of. Being overwhelmed, this is Capricorn energy, right? Their money ain't right. This this person is dealing with some nonsense by how they treated you. And this could be their karma. This could be the reason why they want to come back towards you. Page of Swords, there's some bullshit going on in their life where people are gossiping about them, talking about them behind their back. Um, Spirit is giving me a scenario. Oh. Spirit is giving me a scenario of someone here. That was um, could be in a commitment, but had one or two other people on the side. OK, and one of those two people on the side is the one that's gossiping about them and telling all their business. OK, um, somebody could be born in the fall or something may have been happening in the fall for someone. OK. Um, petty arguments, bullshit, nonsense. Yeah. OK, we got. Yep. We got four of pentacles in reverse as well. 
Okay, so this is letting go of people, financial insecurity, financial loss, right? Losing something valuable. This person has been gambling, possibly could have a gambling problem, but they, they have a lack of control, you know? So this person is basically spiraling right now. So if this is not someone's wife or husband, this is someone that wants to come back and offer a commitment to you, okay? We have King of Wands that fell out sideways. So this person is going back and forth in their mind right now. Oh, excuse me, this is Knight of Wands sideways. They're going back and forth in their mind trying to figure out what they want to do. If they want to take a chance, come to you or not. This person wants to have sex with you, right? But they also want to continue to have sex with other people, right? So they know if they come towards you, you know what I mean? You're not about that life. This is not something that you want around you. You know what I mean? You don't want to share a person, you know, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. You know, you're not about this person that's unreliable and that has that butterfly type of personality where they just want to flicker off here and flicker off there and do this and that, you know, and take your energy with them. You guys are not feeling that. OK, um, OK, card just fell to the floor, but it's upright and I'm taking it. It's page of wands. OK, we got a lot of pages here. All right. Uh, page of wands energy. OK, this person is going to try to message you to get in touch with you to see, you know, if you will talk to them. OK, this is them checking on you, asking, you know, making small talk. Right. Uh, um, trying to see if you will be, you know, on a playful tip or if you, you know, uh, or if the conversation is like optimistic, if they feel like they got a chance, you know, to to speak to you further or to get you to to agree to seeing them. OK. Right. This person is going to be trying to come in. They're going to tell you that they have a change of lifestyle, um, that they're trying to change their life. But they coming in on some old sexual tip, wanting to have sex with you. This person could have just had a baby with someone else as well. OK, but if there's no baby, this person may be trying to have a baby with you to try to get you to stay. That's not going to resonate with everybody. OK, we have five of wands right here next to that. With this five of wands energy, this is someone that has a lot going on. Could be a Leo, could have a Leo in their chart. Somebody could be arguing with a Leo, okay? Or someone could see that the petty arguments that they've been having have been escalating to something to where you're in isolation mode from your person, okay? Like things have been really getting worse. You know, someone may be seeing that now. Okay, we have Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse is someone that's saying, you know what? I'm sick of mental and physical pain, right? I'm sick of thinking all of these disturbing thoughts I've been thinking about. I'm sick of people that want to, to uh, be dishonest. They want to be deceptive, right? I'm tired of failure. I'm tired of confusion. Right. I'm tired. I'm tired of not asserting myself. I'm tired of making the wrong decisions. Right. This is what it is. Someone's really, really, really thinking about their life right now. OK. This is air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. Right. Three of Pentacles energy is here. Someone may be utilizing, you know, those friends that are on the same frequency as them. You know, the ones that can give them a little bit of feedback. OK. On the life. Maybe trying to figure out what's going on around them with other couples, if they're going through the same types of things, et cetera, with this three of pentacles energy. Okay. Again, this is Capricorn, you know, someone may be determined to make their marriage or their, their commitment work or, or their offer of commitment work with someone else. And they're trying to get all the help that they can get to make sure that it goes the way that they would like for it to go. Last card here is five of pentacles. Hmm. With this energy, you know, someone could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, this is financial hardship, lack of money, okay? Lack of uh, adequate accommodation. Now, what I mean about that adequate accommodation is someone here treated someone well, okay? And they may have went off to another partner, but when they went off 
to another partner, even if they gave that partner commitment, they see that that partner is not, you know, that yet yeah, the person they went off to doesn't treat them like you do. Okay. So this is someone, you know, that's feeling that wrath, that's getting that karma right now and going over everything in their mind about how they treated someone. Okay. This person may be facing unemployment. Somebody could be thinking about getting a divorce or going through a breakup, but there's definitely some sort of scandal around because people are gossiping here. Something's going on and it's got to be juicy if someone's talking about it, right? Now, Spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. We have two of swords, okay? This is Libra energy. You're showing up here, guys. This is someone that's preventing themselves from seeing what 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 is the real, what's really going on. Someone doesn't want to accept it, okay? This also could be you making a truce with someone and saying, you know what? You feel the way I feel. Uh, you feel. I feel the way I feel. Let's just call it, you know. But it's a crossroads that someone is standing at right now. Someone needs to face their fears, you know. Someone may be torn between two relationships or someone around you may be torn between two relationships. There could be some blocked emotions, some uh, refusing to change and refusing to make decisions. Someone here has to do just that. Make a decision. Spirit is saying one more down. Okay? They want you to end some sort of cycle, whether it be mental, physical, emotionally, uh, uh, um, emotional, or spiritual. Okay? Um, this could be a thought process. This could be the way you move. Okay? You need to sit down and figure out what it is the Spirit could be telling you that needs to be done in your life. Okay? With this world energy, they want you to be done, to be at a completion point, to choose yourself, to co-create with the universe and have no fear that you're going forward. Okay. They don't want you in no relationship that you're not happy in. They want you to be happy. Okay. Totally. All right. So I'm leaving it here. I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.